welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to be making a simple video on how to cut your drawstring top which is also known as bat wing top okay so in this tutorial, what are the basic measurements required? Your shoulder measurements, your waist measurements, and your top measurements. Don't forget to join us on Facebook, TD Designs, and also on Instagram, TG Designs. Visit our website. You guys, we have amazing fashion illustration on our website. All the details are going to be in the description box below. In the course of this tutorial, if you have any question, please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on. Simply drop that in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so that you can get notifications once a video pop up and it is free. So I hope you guys are loving my airdrop. <laughs> Anyway, so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurements. Our shoulder measurement is 21. Who? That's a whole lot. How did you get 21 inches for your shoulder measurement? How were you able to achieve such measurement for your shoulder measurement? Now, for the back swing or drawstring top, when you want to take your shoulder measurement, you have your shoulder measurement plus your sleeve measurement so your sleeve measurement totally depends on where you want your back swing to get up to so if you want it to get up to this point up to this point you go ahead and measure your shoulder up to your sleeve now another way in which you can achieve that is simply adding your shoulder measurement plus your sleeve measurement so if you if your shoulder measurement is 14 that is 14 divided by 2 you have 7 and then your sleeve measurement is 21 so by the time you add your 7 plus your 21 inches you have 29 inches that is if you want it to be very long it actually depends on where you want it to be so simply add your sleeve measurement where you want it to get up to either this part or here or long sleeve simply add your sleeve measurements plus your shoulder measurements and you will achieve your shoulder measurement because in this form of dress or top you are not having any joining at this part so your shoulder measurement just comes straight up to your desired length for your sleeve i hope you understand that now the second method which you will use to achieve your shoulder measurements if you don't want to add your shoulder and your sleeves together is simply taking your measurement straight up now, what I mean by that is this. With me here, I have this tape measure. Go ahead and place it at this part, which is your shoulder measurement, up to your desired length for your top. So, wherever you want it to get up to, simply measure it this way, and you will have your... So, if you want it to get up to this point, around here, I have 21 inches. So, you can just place your tape measure this, this way and get your measurements or you add your shoulder measurement plus your sleeve measurement together and you are going to arrive at the same answer so this form of top or blouse or gown usually have like a longer shoulder and there is no joining at this part at all so that's why i said my shoulder measurement is 21 inches so we have 21 inches now i'm going to go ahead and add two inches to it so plus two inches now plus 2 inches and we have 23 inches now I'm also going to be adding my band to it because we are going to have band at this part so my band is going to be 3 inches for my band so by the time I add my 3 inches for my band now so plus 3 inches for my band I'll be having 26 inches so that means that from my shoulder measurement to somewhere around here i have 26 measurement 26 inches rather or simply add your sleeve measurement plus your shoulder measurements and you're going to arrive at that so now our waist measurement is 30 30 divided by 4 plus 2 plus 2 we have 9.5 our top length is 16 inches now we are also going to be having band at the lower part of our top length you are going to be having band also at the lower part of our top length so my top measurement that is my basic top measurement is 16 inches and then for my band i want my band to be three inches so i'm going to have 
plus 3 inches now I will have 19 inches for my top plane so basically these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your back swing or your your back swing or your drawstring top okay now another thing you should also take note of is that when you're looking out for styles you want to add to your ready to wear collections or you usually produce ready to wear dresses i will recommend this style as one of one of the dress or top styles you should add to your ready to wear collection now the reason why i'm going to say that is because it usually fits like different sizes when you make a piece and you have size 8 a size 10 person can also wear it a size 11 size 12 person too can also wear it it all depends on the kind of fabric you have and how free you want your bust swing to be i know you guys are going to understand that better in the course of the cutting tutorial so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like, share, and subscribe. You can also join us for trainings. Trainings are available. All the details are going to be in the description box below. So now, let's move to the sewing part of this tutorial. I'm going to be making use of this velvet fabric. So I'm making use of this velvet fabric to achieve this bat wing top. So the first thing we are going to do basically is to fold our fabric into four. Fold your fabric into four. So after folding my fabric into four, this is what I have. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and mark our shoulder measurements, which I've explained earlier. So I'll go ahead now and mark that I have 24 inches. This is what we have, right? Now, the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our neckline. So, for the wideness of the neckline, I'm going to make it of 3 inches. For the wideness of the neckline, why for the front block, the deepness of the front block, I'm going to make it of 6 inches. And why for the back block, I'll make it of 1 and half inches. So this is what we have for the back block and for the front block we have our V neckline. Now the next thing we are going to do now is very very easy. On your top lens go ahead now and mark your waist measurement which we have 9.5. On your waist measurement which we have 9.5. This is what we have. So we'll go ahead now and connect this to our sleeve length. So go ahead now and connect this to the sleeve length. Now, at this point now, before then, you go ahead and mark your shoulder slope, which I'll be making use of one inch for my shoulder slope. You connect it to your neckline, connect it to your neckline. At this point now, you go ahead and mark your round sleeve measurement, which is 6 inches. Then we have 1 inch for our sewing allowance. We have 7 inches. So this is where we... So we've gone ahead now to mark our round sleeve. We have 6 plus 1. We have 7 inches. So we'll connect what we have here now to our waist measurements. You go ahead now and connect these together. So we'll just take it this way and then you connect this together. Now let me go ahead and explain what we have again. The first thing we did was to measure our sleeve measurements which we have 23 inches. We marked our sleeve measurements here which is 23 inches. On this part now you mark your shoulder slope which is 1 inch and connect it to your neckline connect it to your neckline now the next thing you will do is to mark your neckline we said the wideness of our neckline is three inches the deepness of the front block i'm making is of six inches and for the back block i'm making is of one and a half so i've gone ahead now to connect that now for your top length now you go ahead and mark your waist measurement which is 9.5 this is our waist measurement right 
On your shoulder slope now, you go ahead and mark your round sleeve measurements, which is 6 inches plus 1 inch for your sewing allowance. You have 7 inches. So once you are done with that, you just go ahead and connect what you have for your round sleeve to your waist measurements. You can see it's actually easy and you can see the bat swing effect. So if you want yours to be very long if you want to have like a very long bat swing all you have to do is to take your measurement from your shoulder to where you want your sleeve to get up to and wherever you want it to get up to is what you are going to measure at this part so yours could be 28 yours could be 30 if you want it shorter it depends on you so this is what we have now it is very very easy so the next thing i'll do now is to go ahead and cut this out what you have by the time we cut this out you can see the bat swing effect so i'll go ahead now and open this up you can see the shape coming out already so i'll go ahead and cut out the back block first so that by the time i open it up i'll cut out what we have for the front block what we have can you see it you can see your bat swing effect so we'll go ahead now and open this up the next thing we are going to cut out now is the lower band that is the band for our waist so all you are going to do now is to cut out I'm going to fold this fabric into two fold it into two our waist is 30 divided by 2 we have 15 so we add 2 inches for it for our sewing allowance we have 17 inches so for the wideness of the band, I'm going to make it of 6 inches because I want a very big band. So you can increase yours or reduce yours. It depends on how you want your band to fit in. So when folded into two this way, I'm going to have like about 3 inches for the band. And this is optional. So you can increase yours to 4 inches, that is 8 inches, or you can reduce it. So the next thing we are going to cut out now is the band for our arm where we have our drawstring effect so I have two fabrics here for one arm and the other arm so our round sleeve is 12 inches so we have 13 inches I added one inch for the sewing allowance so I'm going to have half inch half inch why for the wideness of it I have six inches again that is three inches for my band so when folded into two this way when folded into two this way, I'm going to have this for my arm band. So by the time we fold this into two, our arm can fit in to this, this way. So this is what it looks like. So you can increase yours or reduce yours. It depends on how you want the band to be. So these are the things you are going to cut out for your drawstring top. So let me go ahead and explain the sewing part of it. You are going to do is actually very easy you go ahead and m your neckline okay m your neckline you can either use facing or bias or you can just turn it in so go ahead and m your neckline after aiming your front block neckline you also m your back block neckline so once you are done aiming the neckline you place the both piece together this way piece together this way and then you stitch the shoulders all the way down and then you stitch this part so after doing that I'll show you guys the next thing we have to do so guys after aiming the neckline this is what we have so we've also gone ahead now to join the sides together where we have our sleeve so once you finish joining it, this is what you are going to have. You are going to have like your opened sleeve this way. Now, the next thing you are going to do now is to take your band. This is the band we cut out for the sleeve. Fold it into two. You go ahead and place it this way. Go ahead and place it this way. And then you stitch it all the way. So you place it this way and then you stitch it like this all the way so by the time you finish stitching it this is what you are going to have you can see your band will automatically turn up this way so this is what so this is what it's going to look like you can see the 
this is what it's going to look like you can see i don't know if you guys can see but let me zoom it so this is what you are going to have so for the lower part now the lower part now where we have our top length the lower part where we have our top length we have the band for the lower part this is the band for the lower part folded into two and this is where we have our top length top length rather so you 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 stitch it from the front this is the front you go ahead and place it this way so you are placing the band on the front of your fabric and then you go ahead and stitch it just like the way you did for your sleeve so when you are done stitching it it's going to fall out this way it's going to fall out this way stitching it this is what you are going to have you can see your band placed already so our top is ready to be honest it's actually very easy the next thing you are going to do now is you've done your sleeve you fixed in your band to the lower part the next thing you are going to do now is just go ahead and stitch this side stitching this the two sides of your top you can see what it looks like so i'll go ahead and put this on the mannequin and show you guys the final look so guys this is what it looks like so you can see the sleeve the band and all of that so thanks so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys